Hello everyone and welcome back to Rogue Fluff's hard mod leveling guide. Today we are going to do Zulfarak. As, as I said before, we need to go to Tanaris for this and we should stop in Gadgetstan and quickly do the arena questline because it's an easy level. We shall start Zulfarak at level 52 and Zulfarak is located on the west north corner of Tanaris. I will just uh, do a quick guide of the little mobs that you have at the entrance. There are usually three, four uh, NPCs. Always look for the Witch Doctor, which puts down a healing ward and also heals the other uh, NPCs. So you should sap him and then finish him off last. You should be able to move quite fast within this uh, starting area. I do uh, try to kill all the mobs as it is quite a nice uh, XP at this level. And also they have really nice drops. Some of which later sell at auction house for a ton of gold. Um, yeah, pretty much uh, this. But you could also skip some of the mobs if you find them a bit too much or a bit too slow. The first mini boss you will encounter is Theka the Martyr. Basically, uh, I wouldn't even call this a boss. Uh, she has about uh, 12, 12k health and one ability which does a little bit of uh, poison damage. So she goes down with one Garot and one Rupture. Yeah, we'll just move on to the next one. The next boss will be Antusul, which is a bit trickier. I do suggest cleaning up all the area around him before you start. Uh, no, I don't have to go to as far lengths as I have, but it's just a suggestion. Antusul will summon uh, four basilics, which hit quite hard, and he himself only hits very lightly with a uh, lightning shock, and mainly what he does is heal the uh, basilisks that hit, hit you. So use your evasion in time and just try to nuke him down as fast as you can. At the end I'll just vanish and the basilisks will go away. Super simple. Our next uh, encounter is with Dr. Zumra, Witch Dr. Zumra. Uh, on the way to him you will see something that looks like little graves. Do not walk over them as they will spawn more ads. Dr. Zumra is a caster and he will cast a couple uh, spells that you can easily dispel with kick or with uh, any type of stun that you use. He will spawn a couple adds that will come and help him. You can take him down and then vanish or fight them uh, if you have enough health when he is down. That is pretty much up to you, not a big encounter. He also doesn't drop anything interesting nor did the previous ones. Our next encounter is probably the most difficult one in this instance. I do recommend cleaning up everything around here as you will be uh, running around this area uh, quite a lot. Uh, in my case I died twice uh, trying to do this and there's no way to stop it. So if you die, just run back in and finish the job. Your first boss will be a Sand Fury Executioner. He basically has a cleave and an execute, so no big deal, take him down super easy. And then go and free the prisoners. Now in vanilla these prisoners would die if you uh, allow all the mobs to go up, but in, uh, in later expansions uh, your friendly mobs do not die, and in our case uh, if you die, you can just run back in and then pick off all the adds one by one. Now, why is this the hardest encounter? As you can see, we have like a million and twelve adds all coming at you. You will have to kill them all. Uh, there's no way around it. Only then you can move to the next phase. Uh, you can kill them uh, one by one. You can let them all mob together at the top. Uh, but basically it doesn't really matter. At some point there will just be too many of them for you to deal with. So deal with them in any way you see fit. In my case it took, uh, it took twice uh, dying and running back in. 
Uh, at the end, you just take down all the mobs and new bosses will spawn. The next two bosses that you will find have to be started by talking to them, so there is no stealth for you uh, as this starts. It's basically two of the prisoners that you uh, two of the prisoners that you just freed, and a couple more adds that will try to heal them. So try to take out the healers first, and then take out the bosses. They're not really bosses; they're quite easy. Uh, all of them are stunnable and interruptible, so. Just deal with them as uh, as you would with a uh, with a mob of four elites. The next two bosses are uh, essentially the last ones if you are just looking for the achievement. And basically, they're both just uh, damage dealers. Clean up the area first from uh, any NPCs or any uh, basilisks and uh, snakes and just go in and deal with them uh, one by one. You can kill one of them, vanish, then kill the other. Uh, I, I, other than that, it's pretty simple. Your evasion should pretty much do the trick in terms of dealing with these two bosses. As you can see, in my case, I thought I could take them both on, but uh, I had no evasion, so I had to vanish and then restart the main boss. Uh, he does drop the headgear that I'm wearing, the Embrace of the Lycan, which is quite a nice headpiece in terms of uh, stats. It's also a really uh, nice uh, transmog item, not my favorite looking piece of gear, but uh, it will it will be useful for quite a while. Other than that, he doesn't really drop anything interesting. A mace maybe, or a sword. Uh, you could keep them for transmog or for uh, later on using in uh, different specs. The next mini boss is Hydromancer Valratha. She should go down quite easily. Try to interrupt her heals. Try to interrupt all her abilities and you should take her down in a couple seconds. Last but not least is Gazrilla, it's a huge Hydra, uh, basically you should clean up the area as much as you can as she does have a knockback. Uh, also quite simple to take down, uh, bleeds and uh, she's not interruptible but there's basically no need, she doesn't hit that hard, as long as you clear the area you should not have uh, too, much of a, too much trouble taking her down. She does drop, uh, drop a nice dagger, so you could take that if you need a, a new dagger. And pretty much this is it. That is Zulfarak at level 52. We actually leveled to level 53 while doing it, so that's nice. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments or if there are any other instances that you would like to uh, see uh, how I do in solo and what level would be the best uh, level to start them. Please leave a comment and subscribe. Rogue Fluff out!